Welcome to another fast Photoshop tutorial where we're gonna make this easy text mask effect. So the first thing we need is an image and it needs to be much more contrasty than this. So I'm gonna go over here to this little half circle thing, adjustment layer, and I'm gonna add a levels and I'm just gonna slide around on here until I get a much more contrasty look. Once you have an image that you like, just click over here on your image and we are gonna go Control J to duplicate our image. On that second one, we are gonna go and we're gonna split it in half. So if yours is a vertical face, like if hers is tilted right here, you can just use the marquee tool and split it down the middle. I'm gonna have to use this uh, polygonal lasso tool here and I'm just gonna create a line that splits her face in half. And then if you do it this way, make sure you select the side of the face that you wanna keep. And then we're gonna go down here to this little box with a circle in it and add a mask. You won't see it right away because we still have our other layer underneath, so just click the eyeball to hide it. And then on the mask, make sure you're on the mask, not on the thumbnail. You're gonna go over to a brush, make sure it's black. So if you gotta flip these around, make sure it's a black one and make sure it's fairly large with the hardness somewhere in the 60s or so. And then you're just gonna erase all the extra little bits or use whatever selection technique you want. Now that we have our mask, let's just go over to our original layer and click this box with a plus in it, which adds a new layer. And let's just go to edit and fill it with black. Then let's go to our original layer again and let's add some text. So click that and then make sure your box is a very vertical box and make sure your font is white so we can actually see it. And then just type whatever you want, one word on each line. A few things to take note of though, make sure you select a fat font. You don't wanna select some sort of skinny font like this because the effect is not really gonna show through as much. So make sure it's something that's relatively chunky. If your words are too spaced out or stretched out or anything, go over here to character. And you can just play around with these things. So this one is your font size. This is how spaced out the characters are. So I'm gonna drop mine down to 225 to kind of crunch them back into be closer to each other. This one right here, this is how close your letters are to each other. So if I go negative, you can see that they now overlap. If I go 100, then they space out. And then everything else here like this will just make them a taller each letter and this will make your letters fatter. Once your text is pretty close to what you want it, let's go up to edit free transform or control T and we're gonna rotate it into place. So just keep rotating until you get it to be pretty close along that line. When you think you have it in place, click the check up top and then go down to your original layer, your very bottom one, click the eyeball back, bring it above your text so your everything else is gonna disappear then right click on it, not on the thumbnail, right click over here and just click create clipping mask. And the effect is pretty much done. But I'm also gonna show you how to make that kind of black and white image that I had behind on the thumbnail. So to do that, all we're gonna do is we are going to duplicate this layer again. So click on our, that one with the mask on it and go control J. We are then going to take the mask off, so right click on it and delete the layer mask. Then we're gonna go up to edit, transform, and we are going to flip horizontal, so it's the other way. And then we're gonna drag it below our other one. So we have kind of the two images kind of mashed over each other. Then on this one, all we're gonna do is we're gonna add an adjustment layer right here. And I'm gonna start with hue saturation, and just obviously bring down the saturation and I'm gonna darken it a little bit. I'm gonna drop the, you know, on, on the actual layer, I'm gonna also drop the opacity a bit back there, maybe not that much. And then I'm gonna add a second adjustment layer. This time I am going to add a brightness and contrast and I'm just gonna crank up the contrast and maybe I'll go back to the original layer and turn it not quite that much kind of somewhere around there now the overlap doesn't look great right there so we have to kind of move things around a little bit and to do that i'm going to first go up here and i'm going to go to image and canvas size and i'm just going to increase this the width a little bit to give me a little more space to maneuver things back and forth 
to select everything from our original project, I'm going to go above those two adjustment layers that I just made, click on the original masked layer that we had, and then up on the top here, I'm going to hold shift and click on that one. And then I'm, that allows me to move everything, our original ones over. And I'm going to go kind of past the shoulder a little bit there. Uh, remember, I got to go back to this layer and we're going to fill that again with black to fill the whole thing. And then now we can see our other image here, the one that we copied, the one at the bottom here. Now we can maneuver that one. Now, if you go to click on it though, you're actually gonna drag this clipping mask layer. So you can't do that. Just click the eyeball for both of those, the text and that clipped layer, and then go back to that layer. And then you can kind of move, maneuver it around a little bit to place it kind of where you want it. And then obviously adjust how much you want to see it back there as well. Then just go back up to the top, click on the eyeball of the clipping mask. It'll bring that effect back and you are good to go.